Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at an Adidas shoe. This is the Adidas Top 10. This pair is in the white and gray colorway and they retail for $90. We're going to be taking a close look at the upper, the outsole, and lastly, we're going to be seeing how these hold up on feet. First, we're going to quickly look at the shoe's inception. Originally released back in 1979, Adidas sought to make a more durable and advanced basketball shoe as the sport was becoming more and more of a contact sport. Adidas created the top 10 and the reason it's called the top 10 is because when it was released, it was given as an endorsement to the top 10 NBA players at the time. So pretty valid marketing from Adidas. That's a pretty crazy move. Moving on to the upper, starting with the leather, the cowhide is a nice tumbled leather. The quality feels solid for 90 bucks, so no complaints here. At the top, we have a lightweight foam tongue that has the unique top 10 logo on it. The shoe features metal eyelets for durability and it has many of them up top, so lots of lacing possibilities. The collar is really well padded, so tons of support, so you don't break your ankles. They'll definitely be held in. Flat white laces moving down. We have a suede toe piece. It's the only suede piece on the shoe. The toe box has a ton of perforations for breathability. At the side, we have the iconic three stripes that are made of soft synthetic material with more perforations on the side. To finish off the upper, at the rear we have a nice Adidas logo. Down below we have a rubber outsole. It does have the Adidas logo molded onto it which is a nice little detail. The tread pattern has a herringbone pattern with the Adidas logo and a circular impact point tread thingy. I don't really know how to describe it. Overall the tread pattern is very basketball like obviously. Lastly, the shoe features a glued down insole that can be easily removed. The insole is a blue low density foam that's identical to the one that's found in the Sambas. If you've seen that video on the Sambas, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not a fan of the blue low density foam, but thankfully below that it does have more foam padding. So hopefully the comfort is adequate. Moving on to the on feet, they did fit true to size for me. The toe box felt spacious and overall the upper felt roomy yet supportive. They also definitely felt comfortable for me. Even though I'm not a big fan of the blue insole, that extra layer of comfort underneath the insole definitely came in clutch and helped out a lot. The comfort is similar to the Stan Smiths, but the upper is obviously roomier and it's got that ankle support. Also the leather is pretty good quality and had no major creases in the couple of days that I wore them. Overall I like the style of the shoes, they remind me of the Air Jordan 1s a bit, but those actually came out 6 years after the top 10s. So Adidas was definitely ahead of the shoe game in those times. For $90, the leather is good, they look good, and they're relatively comfortable. If you're looking for a high top shoe that looks dope, the Adidas Top 10 is pretty hard to beat, especially for under $100. Bucks. I could definitely recommend these. So guys, like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. Also, I'm on TikTok, so follow me on that, at Regular Gear. Have a good one, guys. Be safe. Peace.